an architect's main job is to communicate and educate. And my opinion is that effective communication is the key to be a successful architect. One of the way software architect communicates with other is using models. Model and architecture diagram which helps software architect to communicate with the correct set of audience. Now, modeling architecture diagram is not unique to software industry. You see modeling diagram in other industries like construction, electrical and so on. Even in these industries, the engineers and the architect use models and diagram to communicate with the correct set of audiences. The role of software architect in software industry is similar to an architect in a construction industry or a senior engineer in an electrical industry. But the software architect faces a unique challenge which we don't see in other industries. Let's look at these challenges in detail. In construction industry, a building architect helps to visualize the end product with diagrams which are known as architecture diagram. This could be layout diagrams of buildings and bridges. For example, as shown on the screen, if a building architect draws a layout of a bathroom, Looking at the layout diagram, one can know that one in top of the diagram represents a bathtub and with this reference information in the real world, the construction workers can build the bathroom layout and anyone with help of this diagram can refer to the diagram and go to the physical bathroom to find the exact location of the bathtub. So, one could relate the actual physical bathtub to the one drawn in the diagram. Similarly, if you look at the electrical circuit diagrams, a senior electrical engineer draws the circuit diagrams as shown on the screen where zigzag represents resistor and the diagram represents other electrical components like capacitors, LEDs, batteries and so on. Now with this diagram and information, an electrician or a technician can build the actual physical electrical circuit layout. And one can very well in the real world with the help of the diagram to relate to as which one is the resistor, capacitor or any other electrical component and how various electrical components are tied together. Again, similar to construction industry, we see things drawn in the diagram as an exact physical representation. Now, let's look at the software world. Software architect builds model and diagram of software architecture and its components and this diagram is passed to a developer or development team for implementation. For example, say a software architect is modeling and designing a J2E application and he has modeled the application which is represented or denoted as a layered architecture in the architect diagram. And once this architecture diagram of layered architect is handed over to a developer, for a Java developer, layer does not mean anything. As in Java language, there is no layered keyword. The developer need to use packages, namespace, folders, subcomponents, hierarchy of classes to implement the layered architecture. So you see there is a gap between modeling and diagramming that is built by a software architect and how it's implemented or coded by a developer. There is an ambiguity. This gap in software industry is often referred to as model code gap. So software architecture modeling is different from what we see in other industry. As in those industry like a construction or electrical, what you draw has an exact replica or a concrete reference to the material in the real world. Whereas in software industry, it's abstract. And this poses a challenge for software architect as what's the best way he or she should model software's architecture so that he could communicate his thoughts and design to other audiences in an effective manner. Continuing with the discussion on the challenges of software architects face during effective communication of what they model, let's look at one of the software architecture modeling diagram used in software industry. And here you see an example of component diagram. I got this diagram from wiki. Now, component diagram is representation of various components that build a system. It depicts how components are wired together to form a larger components of a software system. But what is component? For example, from this diagram, 
we can see chords which refers to commercial out of the shelf represented as a component web services again represented as component thick or thin client services again represented as component so if you look at the diagram definition of component is not clear from a technology perspective as what is component it could be a web service client apps or code again it's ambiguous also if you google software architecture diagram you will get pages and pages of architecture diagram as shown on the screen and you see quite a variation in the industry as how the software architecture diagrams are drawn which is again a challenge to a software architect as there is no consistency or standards on how diagrams for model need to be drawn so as you see as a software architect we have a quite a few challenges when we want to effectively communicate to a correct audiences using model as said earlier an architect's job is to effectively communicate and educate as an architect one of the way we communicate with others is using models now it's not just enough to draw some models boxes and arrows and create those uml diagrams in some tool but to understand who we are drawing the diagram for who are the stakeholders who are the audience so in this course we will be talking about modeling in uml and what does it mean to an architect the course is hands on so we will be creating some of the diagrams and we will ask you to join in creating them we will also look at why we model to whom we model so we will touch about the importance of audiences and stakeholders now who will benefit from this course or to whom this course is targeted to if you are an engineer developer senior engineer or senior developer who like to venture into software architecture path or aspires to be a software architect or if you are already an architect this course is for you as it will teach you how to be an effective communicator or storyteller in software world using models